Father, we pray that you might enable us to abide in you. That is, rest in your provision and law. We pray that we may not only bear fruit, but want fruit for your glory. We will not be branch that is barren, a branch that is thrown into the fire. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Saturday, November 18, 2023. This is Love World, taking you open to heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Alleluia. 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 Alleluia is an heaven language. Alleluia song will never say to out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is by their fruit. By their fruit. And then we first shall find the book of Matthew 7, verse 16. I read, You shall know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes of thorns or fig of tusks? You shall know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs? Of Titus. Yesterday, we discussed the fact that when you have pure heart, it will show on the outside. The state of your heart, we pure or otherwise, we only show on the outside. For example, when people see you dress like a harlot or hooligan, they will know what is inside. Many people parade themselves as children of God but dress and talk like people of the world. 1 John 2 verse 15 When you call yourself light, but are looking, standing and moving like darkness, we know that you are not who or what you claim to be. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 In 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Right from the inside to the outside, all things become new. When a person receives Christ, not all things, apart from the fashion, sense, or speech, all things mean all things. When you change from inside, it will show in every aspect of your life because the change is from the core of your being. When you see a Chinese man and a Yoruba man, you can clearly differentiate them by how they look, their language and the food they eat. You don't need to be told, you just know based on the fruit you see, when people you see, can they recognize the DNA of Christ in you? If they have to whether you are child of God, if they need to ask you first, before they know, then check where to see if I true Christian. Some pastors think to confine you to Christ, they must dress and behave like them. Not at all. The youth want something and someone discipline enough to challenge them. They want to show youthful exuberance with the expectation that their pastor will caution them. Unfortunately, the people they are looking up to for that discipline are the same people coming down to their level. Check the way seemingly unruly youth treat the disciples one and the discipline one that will tell you that they value discipline. Why should you not want to be like the unruly one that must change? Why should you now want to be like the unruly one? That must change. So by their fruits, we shall know them. Brethren, I want us to read the book of Matthew 7, verse 16 to 23. And our Bible in one year, Acts 16, verse 17, our hymn in 30. When we walk with the Lord, when we walk, with the Lord. Our key point for today 
let others see Jesus in you. Let others see Jesus in you. And I pray, my Father in heaven, we guide you all through the journey of your life and you will be a good fruit in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, this is Love for. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God will never live your life. Have a nice day and have a nice weekend. Bye for now. God bless you.